Stone Mountain State Park. Here we are, got Mark and Julie with me, and we're getting ready to do the uh, Stone Mountain Loop Trail. It is a little bit after 8, maybe 8.30ish, around 20 degrees, and we're at the lower trailhead. Is that correct, Mark? Yep, the lower trailhead, and we're getting ready to start out. We've already registered for a backpacking uh, site, so we're getting ready to go. Anybody want to say anything? Okay, backing up. There they go. Say woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> Gosh, that's that's pretty enthusiastic there. <laughs> anyway, here we go. This is the historic Hutchinson homestead. Has a uh, cabin, a uh, bunch of outbuildings. Kind of shows how people back in the 1850s ish actually lived. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's set up really nice. Off we go again. Lots of streams we had to ford. Not really had to. They had some bridges there, but we did anyway. Uh, really nice walking. Uh, a lot of uh, hardwood trees around here. Not a lot of pine trees, so had a lot of views because uh, not as much foliage out. Also seemed to be a lot of uh, rocks and uh, a lot of little caves and stuff along the way. Here comes another bridge we're getting ready to go over. When I say we, I mean Mark. Mark's doing the filming here. But very, very nice streams. You can stand here for me for a while. Come on now, down. There's no time for you to play around. We've been on the Stone Mountain and they just left me. But <laughs> here we go. We're going up to the uh, Middle Falls and to the uh, Lower Falls. I don't know if we'll go to the Lower Falls, but let's see how far that is. But the Middle Falls, definitely. So far, it's been pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Great views. Mark's been getting some good footage for us. So, uh, talk to you in just a minute. This is Middle Falls. It's a small cascading fall. Uh, it's probably only about, I don't know, three or four feet high, but then it cascades down maybe 30, 40 feet down this. I'm assuming it's granite. I don't know what kind of rock it is. Into a pool. kind of working our way backwards here, going up the cascading part of the waterfall and on up to the small waterfall itself. And there I am, you can see me uh, taking a couple of pictures there with my Trail Picks tripod. Uh, works pretty good. 
and here we go back down again. A real pretty little falls. We had a good time on it. It was a little slick on the rocks, had a little bit of ice on it. But we survived. After Middle Falls, we started heading up toward uh, Stone Mountain Falls, which is a very large falls. Uh, and it's quite a few hundred feet of Cascading Falls. So here we are, we're starting to go uphill. The climb has just started. We've been pretty relatively flat land, but now we're starting to climb up and get toward the falls. This is the Stone Mountain Falls. It is the largest falls there at Stone Mountain State Park. It is a cascading waterfall. It probably goes for a good couple hundred feet. Uh, it looks very nice. Uh, and it goes down into a pool right here. We're down at the bottom. And a little bit later on, we'll be up at the top looking at it as it cascades across the water. So, very nice, uh, very nice fall. Here we go to the top. Uh, there's about a hundred or so stairs that we have to climb. And here we go getting ready to make it all the way to the top. It's a steep climb and it can be dangerous too. There's some signs out there that, that warn you about what can happen. Uh, and then we'll look at the uh, cascading falls as they come across the top before it drops down to the lower levels. And here goes the cascading falls. And you see they, they go a really long way. They almost look like a roller coaster effect. They really look cool coming down here. And they travel all the way down until it goes over the big end and down to where we were before. top of Stone Mountain, uh, the views are, are just outstanding. Uh, we stayed up here quite a while, took lots of pictures, uh, some video. Uh, there's actually two or three sections. This is the first section we came to. Uh, there's a couple other sections that were really nice. And uh, it's really worth the hike to get up here. This is why we hike, to see views like this. Uh, really nice. We sat up here and ate at our lunch, and uh, it was really a 
great afternoon. Uh, this is another panorama that we shot. Uh, this is like at the uh, second section. And uh, very cool. Uh, Mark was taking this video and he's just kind of walking out from the trail and working his way out and down on the rock. And he's going to show us some great views. Hope you enjoy. All right, we finished the Stone Mountain Trail, our loop trail, and now we're on the Willow Creek Trail, headed up to the backpacking campsites, which is about a mile, mile and a half or so. And we're loaded down with gear. Even Julie got her some gear. So we're headed up the hill. And I do mean up the hill. Isn't that right, Julie? <laughs> so we're headed up. And we'll turn this around so you can see something. Here we are at the backpacking campsite. We're in uh, campsite E, uh, right by a stream. Hopefully you can hear the water sounds. We've got our tent set up. Uh, it was like a mile and a half uh, hike in. Uh, pretty easy hike, not too bad. Uh, and uh, yeah, we got an excellent campsite. This is a lot better than when we went to South Mountain. 
and I will turn things around and let you see, but uh, I'm going to do a little 360 here. Got a big old mountain ridge behind me, and as we're going around, you can see we're kind of in a little valley, and we're right beside a, a stream. We'll be hearing that all night long. So very cool. I'm going to turn this around and show you some of it, kind of walk you through it, and it, it's pretty cool. All righty. So here we go. We are in site E of the backpacking. We went a mile and a half in. Uh, it's approximately 2.30, 3 o'clock. Starting to get chilly because the sun's going down a little bit. Uh, stay here and look. I'm, we're in a, in a little valley here. We've got, we've got a ridge all the way around us. So we're down. We're protected from the wind. It's really a very cool campsite. Very cool. So let me give you a tour. So we've got this stream that's coming down beside us. And we walk into the campsite. We've got a, a nice fire pit. We haven't got a fire started yet. We're gonna have to go get some firewood and, and get that started. But we've got our tent set up. We've got our tent set up. And we got some cool seats and stuff. So we're gonna have a really cool camping here and I hope you can hear this water it is very cool but check out the stream the bubbling brook right beside our tents I'm coming up on Mark's tent here Mark and Julie's tent and look you can see that little itty bitty waterfall right beside the tent very cool and there's Mark And then you can very cool little stream running running down this is where we're gonna get our water from here goes my tent and it's right beside the stream also well you always need a campfire and so here goes our campfire uh, mark eating out some uh, Mountain house there, woofing it down. We had a good fire that night. Uh, the next morning I got up and uh, kind of took a little hike. And here you can see the sun peeking over the ridges there. Really nice glow. Like I said, I went out and walked around a little bit. And really, really pretty in the morning. I'm a morning person anyway, so really love going out and looking at water running. You know, I like it. <clears throat> well, here I am this morning after a long night's sleep, uh, a long night in, in the tent anyway. Uh, I think it got down to 32 last night. That was the coldest it got. Uh, it was a good night. Uh, I got up early this morning. I've already been on one hike. <clears throat> Just looking around, taking some pictures, and uh, I'm going to take some more today. Uh, Mark and Julie are still in the process of getting up, so I figured I'd come out, take a little hike, <clears throat> see what we can see. Stone Mountain State Park. Uh, it's really neat. I, I know I'm here in the wintertime and I don't see all the vegetation up. A lot of really good views. The hiking is uh, is really nice. There's lot, lots to see. Real pretty. Uh, the primitive campsites are very secluded and, and really nice. I like the way they're set up. We, we stayed in E. I walked down to F and checked it out. Uh, campsite F and it was real nice. Uh, we're only about a mile and a half in from the trailhead, but you wouldn't know. You'd think we were way in. It, it's really nice. Uh, so really have enjoyed it uh looking forward to maybe coming here in the summertime and, and seeing what it's all about in the summertime uh, but yeah the uh, sun's starting to come up it's probably about eight o'clock sun's starting to peek over the ridges now and you get that real beautiful glow i'm going to start uh taking some more pictures and letting you see some more check you later well we started out and this is the first stream we had to cross and there goes julie me 
just getting across and Julie just starting. Morning. So we're coming back from backpacking campsites. We stayed at Site E. Really smooth, really cool. And uh, we're on our way back. And, uh, real nice. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right, and we have started our walk back to the car. And of course, there's a lovely stream, the uh, Widow's Creek, that runs along the Rid Widow Creek's trail. Uh, real pretty. And we had to uh, cross a lot of uh, streams along the way. Uh, this is just a little, it's not even a stream, I don't think. It's just where the water comes out of the out of woods a little bit, but there were lots of streams where we had to cross, and, and a lot of the bigger ones, they did have bridges there in case the water was up. Very nice, though. And I always got to get that yoo-hoo in every one of my uh, videos here. And there's Widow's Creek. Very nice, clean-looking creek. Unfortunately, we had to go back home, and uh, till we go to our next trip and make our next video, hope everybody has a safe travels. <laughs>